Detachable collars are a versatile way to mix up your outfits and style your makes. Once you've sewn one of these simple oversized collars, you'll be making one in every colour. Perfect for styling with our sewing patterns, like our Billy sweatshirt and our indigo smock dress pattern. You can find our free collar pattern download at tillyinthebuttons.com or visit the description below for the direct link to our blog post, along with a step-by-step -step written tutorial with the supplies you need and photos for each step. You'll start by cutting out your pattern pieces, including two collar pieces, two necktie strips and optional ruffles. Cut your ruffles in 8cm strips, totalling around 2.5 to 3 metres. The ruffles can be adjusted to suit your fabric length to minimise waste, or cut them longer or shorter if you want them more or less gathered, or you can leave them off entirely. Let's get sewing. Pin and stitch the ruffle strips at the short ends right sides together to form one long strip. Press the seam allowances open. Press the two remaining short ends under 15mm to the wrong side. This will create neat ends to your ruffles. Then fold your long ruffle strip lengthways, wrong sides together and press. Now to gather the ruffle. Set your sewing machine to a long straight stitch. Sew two or three rows of gather stitches along the length of the ruffle, close to the long raw edges, leaving loose thread tails at either end. Grab hold of the top two threads at one end of the ruffle and carefully pull them to gather up the fabric. This step may take a while, but don't rush as you don't want to snap your threads. Pull your threads until the ruffles look even and measure approximately the length of your collar. Press the ruffles and then they'll start to look something like this. Now let's prep the neckties. Press one short end under about 15 millimeters. Fold the rectangles in half lengthways wrong sides together and press to make a center crease. Unfold again lengthways and press in the long raw edges to meet the center fold. This is a bit like making bias binding if you've done that before. Fold the rectangle in half lengthways again and press, enclosing all the raw edges. Making sure your sewing machine stitch length is set back to a regular stitch length. Sew along the length of each necktie close to the open folds. Now it's time to attach the neckties to the collar. Lay the neckties over the right side of one of the collar pieces. Pin the raw short ends of each necktie to the front ends of the collar, 15mm down from the neckline, using the notches as a guide. Lay the ruffle over the collar too and pin it to the front ends and outer edge facing inwards with each end just below the necktie. Adjust the gathers so they're relatively even. Stitch in place using a 15mm seam allowance, taking care of your collar front corners, making sure not to catch the edge of the ruffle. Lay your remaining collar piece over the top, right sides together, sandwiching the ruffles and neckties inside. Pin and stitch in place around the front ends and outer edge. Stitch along the entire inner neck edge, leaving a gap approximately 5cm or 2 inches at the centre of the neckline. This is so you can turn your collar out. 
Trim the seam allowances and notch little triangles into the curves to help your collar sit neatly. Turn the collar right sides out and make sure your corners are neatly turned out. Press your collar, tucking the seam allowance from the gap inside the collar. Finally, stitch close the gap at the neckline. You could top stitch this on your machine or by hand if you want the stitching to be completely invisible. You could also top stitch around the entire neckline if you want to flatten everything out. Unpick any visible gather stitches from your ruffles. Give it a good press and admire your finished collar.